there's only space for one anchor on this show. Well, may the best woman win. <laughs> Good morning, Kathleen. I'm Dominique Almanzan. And I'm Rainy Holloway. Today we have prepared a show for you that will leave you fully understanding just how some of the different genres fit into the real world. Kicking it off with action. Taking it to horror. Ending it with fiction. So let's get this show started. So do you think superheroes have to stretch before fighting too? Um, probably not. But you know who does have to stretch before they get into action? Who? Our school's ROTC team. Now let's take it to Maddie to find out just a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes. I have no idea how to do number five. Yeah. I mean, she did not even teach us this at all. Whoa, what was that? I have no idea. Do you think this classroom is haunted? No way. Ghosts aren't real. <laughs> okay, so maybe ghosts are real. Yeah, either way, we clearly know where we stand when it comes to the fight or flight response. Let's go to Matthew and learn more about these common instincts. Oh, would you look at the time? I have to go pick up my unicorn from daycare. You have to do what now? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm just getting into my sci-fi mindset. Oh, right. That reminds me. Wasn't there a sci-fi meeting last night? Yeah, and you missed it. So let's go to Devin and see what happened. Well, Kathleen, that brings today's show to a closing. We explored action with real-life experiences of our ROTC program, then we took it to horror and learned more about the fight or flight response. Finally, we dove into fiction through our sci-fi club. I'm Dominique Almanzan. And I'm Rainy Holloway. Signing, signing off, off for Ignition, Ignition TV. TV. Welcome to Empire Beauty School, located here in Lakeland, Florida. Through constant support and education, students can enroll here to become licensed cosmetologists. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Dominique Armazan. And now let's blend into it. Here at Empire Beauty, you can learn all you need to become an expert cosmetologist. They offer courses in hair design, cutting, and coloring, as well as in skincare, fingernail painting, and makeup application. curriculum features business and technical skills that will help shape your career. They have a full-service student salon where you can gain valuable hands-on experience with real-life clients. Empire Beauty School has been around for over 80 years and has opened 89 schools in 21 different states, according to their website. Empire uses the latest and most up-to-date cosmetology education, taught by trained and licensed educators. The primary focus of the Lakeland Empire campus is hair, however they cover all other aspects of cosmetology. So why choose Empire? They are experienced, unique, committed, advanced, and affordable. Looking to pursue a career in cosmetology or request more information about the program, visit their website at empire.edu or call them at 863-868-1845. I'm Rainy Holloway and I'm Dominique Amansan reporting, reporting for, for Ignition TV. TV. There is no way I'm gonna finish. What am I gonna do? This essay is I don't know what to write. I'm so lost. Rainy, what are you doing here? 
Actually, they call me Brainy, the queen of all things education. And today, that just so happens to be your essay. So you're here to do my essay for me? <laughs> Not for you, but I will give you some tips that'll send you in the right direction. Um, why are we on a boat? What, you've never been fishing before? I have, but... Okay, so I take it you know what this is then. Yeah, that's the hook. And what do you use it for? To catch the fish. Similarly, the hook in your essay is used to reel in the folks that are reading it. Great pun. So does that mean the audience is my fish? Exactly. And once you've captured them, you can go on and move to the next step. This sounds like a lesson more on water sports than it is on writing an essay, but I'm listening. The bridge is what connects the captivating hook to the topic of your essay. So basically it's like the glue that sticks everything together? Exactly. You're on a roll. So what's next? Your thesis statement. My what? Your thesis. It's like the menu of your essay. <sighs> Finally. All this writing has me starving. Hey, none of this is food. Yeah, I know. Your thesis statement is your topic and your reasons. I feel this way because blank, blank, and blank. Here you get to give the audience a glimpse of what they will be reading about. Now it's time. Time to eat? Nope. Now it's time to dive into your body paragraphs. <laughs> your puns will be the death of me. <laughs> All right, so imagine your essay like a sandwich. Most essays have a five paragraph format in which three of these are the body paragraphs. The introduction is your first slice of bread. So the body paragraphs are like the meat in the sandwich? Exactly. These paragraphs include all of your research and supporting details. They're essentially the toppings of your sandwich. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? None of that goes together. Nice catch. See, these are all good toppings, but they don't necessarily belong in the same sandwich. Similarly, the details that you include in your essay need to work together so that the whole thing is delicious. Like this. Voila, how's that? <laughs> Perfect. So the conclusion is your summarizing paragraph. It ties your essay together, usually with some form of a call to action. Hence the ropes, huh? Precisely. And now that you understand how to write an essay, it shouldn't be such a struggle. Thank you so much for your help. It was my pleasure. Have you finished your essay yet? No, but you were a lot of help. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a sandwich to make. Welcome to Indigo Moon. I'm Dominica Mansan. And I'm Rainy Holloway. Here at the store located in downtown historic Bartow, artisans and authors are allowed to come and sell their work. No matter what you're looking for, it's guaranteed you'll find it here. From gifts to art pieces, decor, jewelry, and so much more. There's a never-ending stock of items to shift through. Indigo Moon goes beyond being a store where you can find one-of-a-kind pieces. They also offer several classes to inspire creativity in the community. These classes allow children and adults to participate in paint-alongs for as low as $5. You can also be taught how to make your own homemade skincare products using all natural ingredients for the organic glow. In addition to these DIY remedies, you can craft 100% natural cleaning supplies for your home. Along with selling handmade and unique goods, they also offer many opportunities to authors. With chances to host book signing events, it's surely a great option for any upcoming author. 
Not only does this establishment add yet another entertaining store to Polk County, they also give back to the community. Every three months, the store sponsors a new charity. With so much to offer, there's no wonder why Indigo Moon has been nominated for Best Gift Shop in Polk County. But don't take our word for it. Come take a visit for yourself. You won't regret it. They are located at 165 East Main Street, Bartow. And their phone number is 863-224-7758. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Dominica Mansan, reporting for Ignition TV. What is it, Bug Woman? Oh, it's nothing. I just had a really bad dream. Are you all good, though? Yeah, I'm fine. It's Gash. Hello? Ladies, nearly the entire senior class of one of Florida's high schools is on the verge of failing. Their principals called me and asked me that I send in the best. So get to it. OK, we're on it. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> all right, let's go. I've been expecting you. So what exactly seems to be the problem here on campus? I really don't know. I have top-notch staff, but something has gotten into those seniors. I need you two to get out there and figure out what's the problem. We're on it, ma'am. Don't worry. We'll be back. It looks like we have ourselves a skipper. Mm-hmm. So, what class are you supposed to be in anyways? Uh... Yes, what is the meaning of this? I believe she belongs to you. Yes, thank you. Come in, young lady. Where'd they go? Whoa, that was so close, we almost blew our cover. I know, we got out of there just in time. Man, I'm so lucky Charlie gave me the answers to these tests, because I didn't study at all. Oh, are these those answers to that test you didn't study for? G give it back. Give no it back. way. If you want to pass that test, then you're going to have to study for it. But I don't know how to. So we'll help you. The top secret study girl tips. What do I do with this? I don't know how to use this. Where, <laughs> where'd they go? won't be needing those, but you will be needing these. You guys will be much better off with the notebooks than your devices. Welcome back, ladies. What did you find? Skippers, phone users, cheaters, you name it. But lucky for you, we put an end to all of that. Thank you so much. I am so excited to hear that. It was our pleasure, but don't let them slip back into their old habits while we're gone. You've got my word. Bye now. Study Girl and Book Woman, out. out.